It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! <laughs> Okay, you guys, I did something. I did something with my hair. So while I was in New York, I was like, I want to do it. I want to get a curly cut. So I went to the pizza salon and boom, this is the before. And before we even got to cutting, we discovered that one side of my hair is longer than the other. But anyways, I don't just trust anybody when it comes to the scissors. So I was like, I'm going to go to Ellie. She's actually the person who cut my hair last year. And we kept making this joke because I was like, I want to keep my length. All I want is more volume. And it's crazy because as she kept cutting, look at how my hair got bigger. Y ma grande, y ma grande. Like, girl, this is my hair. No product, all dry. So I was like, what is this going to look like once we style it up so we washed it okay we wet it and also we use these two products after my hair was washed but you know what i discovered yesterday i was like i think i want to start styling my hair in the shower and seeing how that works because that's what we did we styled in the sink when the hair was really wet and i really like how the results came out y'all are gonna see it at the end but anyways we scrunched out all that water before we even got to drying and they were talking me through everything which i appreciated because i understood it more <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you guys the energy in the salon i should have asked the person who was styling my hair what her sign was because we had some really good conversation y mirame este pelo ahora, you guys look at my hair all oh, the volume like ellie is the best and she's the person i'm gonna always go to when i'm in new york let me know what you think This is going to be a controversial topic, but I recently had someone argue with me on a Facebook group about the fact that I don't charge for styling the hair after coloring it. So I'm going to talk about why styling is included in my prices and I don't charge extra to blow dry and style the hair after a color service. I do, however, charge extra for the haircut, but the style is included in any color. This is because I think it's extremely important that clients should be able to see the color before they're paying for it. And like in all its glory, like they should be able to see it nice and blown out and styled and pretty. It's the same reason that a lot of stylists are including toners in their blonding services these days. Because it's a necessary part of the process, you might as well include it in your pricing. And that's how I feel about blow drying and styling. I don't think it's something that can be omitted, so I just include it in the pricing of all colors. In my opinion, I just don't think my clients should have to pay extra to see what their hair color looks like dry before they pay for it. Every time I curl my hair, I get so many questions on how I curl it, and it's been a while since I made a video, so I'm going to walk you through how I curl my hair. I just washed and blow-dried my hair, so it's a little bit frizzy, but my hair has a lot of volume. And then I use this Redken heat protectant. I got it on Amazon. I have it in my storefront. I'll just spray that in my hair. And then the curling iron I use, I also got on Amazon. It's a Bioionic 1 and a fourth inch. I have this in my storefront under hair as well. And I put the heat on 360 when I curl my hair. And then I section off the top half of my hair and start on this side. I'm just going to show you how I do it once and then try and explain it after. Basically what I do is I slide it down halfway and roll it all the way back up and then I loosen the clamp and I keep doing this until I get to the end of the curl and I hold it for a second and then I just unravel it. I'm trying to show you again on this piece, I just slide it down and then I keep loosening it until the hair is all the way up and then I just unravel. And I just make sure that every piece I curl is going away from my face. And I'm going to hairspray it. Okay, then same thing for other side, but I just put the curling iron in a different direction. Okay, now that my hair is all done, I'm just going to brush through it with my hands. Okay, and then this is my hair all curled. And here's what it looks like from the back. Bon, les gars, rien ne va plus. Je vais devenir rousse. Voici ma couleur pour le moment. Voilà, j'ai pas niaisé, les gars. Je vais opter pour un roux, genre mes roux. Dire que dans quelques instants, je vais voir la vie en orange. Oh my 
my god, oh my god, oh my god. Je suis rousse. Oh, J'ai trop hâte de voir quand ça va être séché. Ça va être parfait, je pense. Je pense. Pas sûr. Non, je suis pas mal sûr. Ça y est, je suis rousse.
going for the wine town. That boy's so solid, and that's what happened when you come from the bottom. 305, Paradise City, where the girls got big old booties and so pretty in our shape. That thing, that shape, that work, that thing. Work, that work, that that thing. Drop that, drop that. Put your hands up. Now say, whoa, get ready, bam, a lamb. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. <laughs> to the salon! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get like a the sound for a TikTok. <laughs> my extensions were almost done i just have these two pieces left and i'm trying to color match the side as best as possible for these pieces i'm just going to use the ocean blue by adore i'm going to go ahead and refill my hummingbird this thing is a necessity when i'm doing my extensions it's pretty much all empty so i'm just going to refill it i just had this shade mixed with aquamarine so with just a little bit that's left i don't really think it's going to do much just in case i'm going to put the normal lid on and then just shake it up it does have a purple tint to it which is kind of making me nervous since I just bleached these from purple but I did use this shade like royal blue so that's what I'm hoping for so I'm sorry if I'm being kind of quiet it is two in the morning right now somehow I'm like full of energy I'm not even kidding plus I'm like getting these done so quick I don't even think I really have to touch this one up I am becoming a pro at dyeing extensions. If I was using a brush, I promise you there would have been like chunks of sections just not dyed. I'm on the last piece and I think I'm going to leave the purple ones the way they are. 
I had an idea where I think I am going to cut them in half, but I'm going to put one purple one on this side and one purple one on this side. It'll look like I have two purple streaks on this side. Okay, I'm all done. This is what this one looks like. It's definitely a dark blue, exactly what I was going for. I'm going to let my extension sit for a bit. I have to clean this now. I'm going to save this dye. So I'm just going to take off this bottom piece so I can clean it and switch out the cap. I'll probably use this for a color refresh, so I'll just add a conditioner or a hair mask into it, and that helps just refresh your color during your wash then i'm just going to take this off and this off and clean it out comes with a spoolie so you can really get it perfectly cleaned and i mean perfectly clean i'm starting to get excited because i feel like these are going to look so good the purple one is throwing me off a little bit we'll just have to wait and see how it looks i'm going to go let these sit in for a bit wash them out style them and then install them so stay tuned for the results